This is episode number 87 at the BS Machine. Welcome, guys. And uh, I feel like I always say the same thing right at the top, but I do. But uh, there you go. All right. Oh, well, as you can tell, I'm in a bit of a freaky ass, crazy ass mood today. So um, this is a, uh, a the the midweek reminders. So it's second installment of the midweek reminders, and um, and yeah, guys, how you going? I hope you're having a good week. It's I'm recording this on Thursday. I'm going to release it on a Thursday, which is cool. So the uh, midweek reminder this week is to have fun being fearful that's cool isn't it so uh i i I mean look really the 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 nuts and bolts behind the next few minutes is just to like remind you to to stop taking things so seriously i mean being fearful is a is a really good sign that you're you're doing some really cool stuff and i've noticed that with myself uh i have all these kick-ass ideas but um but as soon as I have these ideas, let's say whether it's to reach out to someone or whether it's, you know, to, to take action on something on one of my ideas, immediately I, I get riddled with the fear of like, oh my God, what if it doesn't work out? Or, oh my God, what if the, I, you know, someone says no to me? Or, oh my God, what if it, it just pointless? Or, oh my, oh my God, what if I look like an idiot? You know, and at the end of the day, does it really fucking matter? Like in all honesty, and uh, and it's it's cool because when you when you don't take things so seriously and you don't take fear so seriously and you just have some fucking fun, not just with life but with fear in itself, it makes things so much easier because you can actually muster up the 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 courage to 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 dive into things looking at it from the perspective of just, you know what, I'm just going to do this. And, and, and I, I actually don't mind, um, or, or, or not even don't mind. It's just like, who cares if it doesn't work out? You know, who does it really, really matter? And, and at the end of the day, the worst thing, the worst possible thing that's going to happen is you're going to be one step closer to whatever your thing is. You'll be one step closer. Even if, Even if you do something and it's a total fuck up, does it actually matter? All you know and all you can be sure of is you're going to be one step closer to to getting something better than what you're experiencing at the moment. And usually there's this saying, and and, you know, some of you might have heard it before. It's not even a saying. I think it's just a a sort of a, a thing that people say. But when something doesn't work out, usually there's this saying that says, well, if it's not this, it has to be something better. And, uh, and, and I, I truly believe in that. And I always remind myself of that. If I go for something and it doesn't come in, I either go, all right, it's because I either took myself too seriously and I didn't actually do what my ideas or intuitively what I thought was right or, or the, the intuitive action. I didn't take full, full advantage of that or it just didn't work out because it didn't work out. So there has to be something better that's coming along for me. And so they're really good reminders to, to uh, think of. And, and, you know, if you're listening, I'm, I'm just assuming that, um, I mean, my listeners are, I, I love the little stories that I get sent in uh, all the time, which is, which is cool. I, I like hearing the little stories of, of what people sort of achieve and what they do listening to my, to my, uh, to my podcast. It feels nice, you know, that, that, um, that what I do, and as you can tell quite often, probably 90% of, of, of life, I don't really take things too seriously. And and it's such a gift because you can move through life and, and get through life and, and have, have some fucking fun, man. And all those fears that you have, they're either going to debilitate you or they're going to push you to move deeper into the the fear of doing something. And even whatever it is, man, like if it's, I mean, I'm just talking about reaching out to people because there's, um, you know, probably three or four people I'm sort of putting off reaching out to just in case <laughs> they say no to me, but I'm hundred percent um, doing it and I'm diving in uh, pretty much straight after I push pause 
on this podcast and or not pause but push end on this midweek reminder so if anything guys just a quick one just to let you know if you're fearing doing something and it's been playing on the back of your mind for a while whether it's weeks even months maybe even years you've had this one thing whatever it is maybe it's two things but if you're fearing diving into something or reaching out or expressing yourself or even if it's putting up a fucking instagram post whatever it might be, or small or as large as it is, dive into the fear and don't take yourself too seriously. And the worst thing that's going to happen is that you're just going to get closer to your vision or you're going to get closer to your end result, even if it all fucks up. But imagine if it all works out. That would be cool. I'll catch you later.